Hello, everyone. So in my state, in the state of Washington, according to the Child Welfare Department, um, abuse or neglect is defined as the injury of a child by a person under circumstances that cause harm to the child's health, welfare, or safety, or the negligent treatment or maltreatment of a child by a person responsible for or providing care to the child. Signs of child abuse and neglect. Some signs to look for in children include sudden changes in behavior or their school performance. They have not received help for physical or medical problems that have been brought to the parent's attention. They have learning problems or difficulty, difficulty concentrating that cannot be attributed to a specific physical or psychological cause. It is always, um, sorry, they are always watchful as if something bad is always about to happen. They lack adult supervision. They are overly compliant, passive, or withdrawn. They come to school or other activities early, stay late, and do not want to go home. <clears throat> they are reluctant to be around a particular person or, or, or they just come out and tell someone about maltreatment. Um, and also signs to notice in a parent, which I think is equally as important, um, they, they deny the existence of or blame the child for the child's problems in school or at home. They see the child as entirely bad, worthless, or burdensome. They ask teachers or other caregivers to use harsh physical discipline if the child misbehaves. They demand a level of physical or academic performance that the child cannot um, achieve. They look primarily to the child for care, attention, and satisfaction of the parent's emotional needs. And they show little concern for the, for the child. And also signs to look for between the parent and child include um, that they rarely touch or look at each other. They consider their rela relationship entirely negative, And they're always saying that they do not like the other. Which professions and at what period of time are required to report suspected child abuse and neglect? In the state of Washington, mandated reporters are practitioners, county coroners, or medical examiners, law enforcement officers, professional school personnel, registered or licensed nurses, social service counselors, psychologists, or pharmacists, licensed or certified child care providers or their employees, employees of the Department of Social and Health Services, juvenile probation officers, placement and liaison specialists, responsible living skills program staff, state, family, and children's ombudsman or any volunteer of that office, host home programs, supervisors of employees or volunteers who train, educate, coach, or counsel children or have regular unsupervised access to children, Department of Corrections personnel, any adult with whom a child resides, guardians and court-appointed special advocates, also administrative, academic, or athletic department employees, including state employees of public and private institutions of higher education. And a report should be made when anything is suspected or there's reason to believe that a child is, uh, has been abused or neglected or a person has knowledge of um, or sees a child being harmed, and the report should be made within 48 hours. What is the procedure for reporting child abuse and neglect? Um, call the local Child Protective Service Office or Law Enforce Enforcement Agency of your area. There's also a Child Help National Child Abuse Hotline. Call or text 1-800-4-CHILD and provide complete, honest account of what when observed, what led them to suspect the occurrence, child abuse or neglect, and reasonable, reasonable suspicion is sufficient. What is the penalty for not reporting child abuse and neglect? Um, any mandated reporter who fails to report an incident of known or reasonably suspected child abuse or neglect is guilty of a misdemeanor and that can include, um, it's punishable with six months um, in a county jail or by a fine of $1,000 or both. Um, 
yeah, I, I really appreciated this assignment. It was very eye-opening. Thank you all so much for watching and take care. Bye.